Hi there, this is just a quick run through of example 5 on page 30. Um, as it's written in the textbook, it is perfectly correct, but I thought perhaps hearing me talk through what's going on might help you out. What this example is asking you to do is to prove algebraically that um, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its di digits is divisible by 3. In other words, if I ask you, is the number 1300 and 62 divisible by 3, Yes, most of us would grab a calculator, punch in, divide by 3, see if we get a nice neat integer, and then we'd have our answer. What if somebody dared you? Like, can you tell me right now? If I add up the digits, in other words, if I go 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2, which is something I can do in my head, 4 and 6 is 10 and 2 is 12, is 12 divisible by 3? Yes, definitely. I know that uh, from my multiplication facts, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Because 12 is divisible by 3, in other words, because the sum of the div digits is divisible by 3, this number is also divisible by 3. I know 1,362, um, 3 divides into it evenly. What we're to do is to prove this. Now, we're not going to prove it by doing this, here's an example. We're not going to do it inductive, we're going to do a deductive proof, meaning we're going to prove that it's true all of the time. We're going to work with just a two-digit number, although we could do it with a four, we could do it with a three, in fact we could do it with a ten-digit number if we want. The process would be similar. We are going to let, like the textbook does, a, b, be some random two-digit number. Now think about what you know about two-digit numbers. You learned place value. This is the ones place, and this is the tens place. In other words, this two-digit number AB could be thought of as 10 times A plus 1 times B, which we know is just B. 10A plus B is the same as AB. Think of this in terms of, let's say I had 74, if that was my two-digit number. 7 times 10 plus 4 is 74. This digit times 10, so in other words, a times 10, plus b is my number. How do I show that this is divisible by 3? To show any number is divisible by 3, I need to show that um, 3 divides into it evenly all the time. How do we do that in algebra? We factor out a 3. Now if I look at 10a plus b, I can't factor 3 out of it right now. That's the reality. So what we're going to have to do is play with this and try and find pieces of it that 3 divides into. If I think about 10a, that's the same as, as a bunch of a's, 10 a's added together. I could split it instead and say, well, instead of 10a, what if I thought of this as 9a and another a and a b? Is this still a b? Sure it is. Because 9a plus a is still 10a and I've still got this b on the end. What advantage does this give me? 9a is divisible by 3. I can show by factoring out a 3 that this piece is always divisible by 3. Do I know anything about this piece for sure? No. The reality is 3 times 3a, I'm just going to copy this up here so we can work with it a little bit more. This first piece right here is always divisible by 3. We know that because that 3 factored out, I know that piece is good. Where the question comes in is over here. We were trying to show whether or not AB is divisible by 3. AB is divisible by 3 if this piece over here is divisible by 3. What is this piece? The sum of the digits. A and B were the separate digits in the number. If A plus B is divisible by 3, then AB is divisible by 3. And that's what an algebraic proof looks like to do this. Okay, don't pick a whole bunch of numbers and try it and try it and try it and, and go there. See, it always works. That's an inductive proof. To do it deductively, you've got to walk through using algebra to get to a point where you can make a conclusion. I hope that helps a little bit with example 5 on page 30. Um, and that wraps up this video.